A few days ago I have um, installed a free load balancer called uh, Loadmaster which is uh, produced by Kemp and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, configure um, the load balancer to load balance traffic for two things. One will going to be for um, a TCP connection which uses uh, HTTPS and the other one will be a UDP connection that will uh, load balance using uh, round robin for two servers. The one for HTTPS, it will um, low balance based on uh, weight on three servers. If you have uh, watched my previous videos or the um, series um, that I'm talking about Greylog and how to configure it, uh, we were going to use uh, that environment for testing. So um, here we have uh, three Greylog servers, one, two and three. Uh, this server is the master for Greylog. And in front of these servers, we will going to place uh, the load balancer. We will going to use the same subnet, but the virtual IP on the load balancer will going to end with 139. And all the traffic, all the HTTPS traffic which will come from uh, uh, users on the web interface will be sent to the load balancer on uh, 139 IP address and then we will gonna use a fixed uh, weighted load balancing method the traffic will gonna be directed to the first server, the first Greylock server. If this server will become unavailable, then the traffic will be directed to the second server. And if this server becomes unavailable as well, it will gonna be directed to the third server. The other scenario will be for sending uh, log messages, a Cisco ASA device, firewall. So here we can have our ASA firewall which will send uh, logs to this IP address and here we will gonna use a um, round robin load balancing method but this time only for server 2 and server 3 we will not gonna send any kind of uh, log messages from the ASA device to the mass to the gray log master so with round robin if uh, one message will come from ASA it will gonna direct it will gonna be directed to gray log server 2 uh, and the next uh, session or the next connection will be directed to gray log 3 and so on. Let's configure our uh, first service. Uh, to do that, you will need to go to uh, virtual services and then uh, add new. Here we will gonna specify the virtual IP address, which will be 10.168.184. And the port, uh, the incoming port will be 443 and the service name will be optional. I'm just going to put here um, Greylog. Protocol will be TCP and let's click on add. Okay, and the service type, uh, we can uh, leave it to, to um, HTTP and HTTPS. We will not force a, 
layer for load balancing, we will leave it to layer server, um, load balancing method. Extra ports, I'm not going to specify anything in here. Scheduling method will be fixed weighted, weighting. The SSL properties, I'm going to leave it to default. We will not going to use any kind of SSL acceleration. We will not going to configure as well uh, anything in the um, advanced properties. The section with uh, edge security pack, uh, we will going to leave it also to the default. And then we will have the real servers. And here we need to configure our um, real servers. We were going to leave the check method to the default. Uh, checked port, we can put here 9000. It's uh, the port that uh, Greylog is listening for. Then uh, HTTP method will be head. And uh, let's start to add uh, our, our first server. The first server will be 136 at the end. Uh, the port will be 9000. So that means that uh, all the incoming traffic for HTTPS will going to be directed to this real server on this port. For the method, we will going to leave it to default because yeah, as you can see, we cannot change it. The weight we will going to put here uh, 2000. and no connection limit. Okay, this is our first server. Uh, let's add our second one. Port is 9000. And the weight, we will gonna keep it to 1500. So in case the first one we're gonna, not gonna be available, this will gonna be the next one. Let's copy this IP address. And he can just paste it, paste it. 138 at the end, port 9000. And the weight, we will gonna leave it to the default. Okay, we will add this one as well. And then we will gonna hit back. And that's all. Let's go back. And right now, let's uh, try to test uh, to see what result we were going to get. So we were going to go to this IP address, which is for the Greylock server, the virtual IP address, actually. So we will put HTTPS and colon and the virtual IP address for the Greylock servers. Okay. Let's uh, go to the web page. And as you can see, it works. Let's log into the web interface. Okay, so as you can see, it works. Let's check the statistics right now. Okay, we were gonna go for um, Real time statistics, real servers. And you can see here that only the first Greylock server was used. So now that we are done with uh, the first configuration, let's jump into the second one. And here we will add our um, second virtual service, which will be for the SA firewall logs. We will use the same virtual IP address as before. This time the port will be 514 because we will send uh, the syslog messages from the SA firewall to Greylog. Protocol will be UDP and the service name we can Put it here as ASA ASA syslog. 
Okay, we can add it. And as you can see here with uh, UDP, you don't have too many options. The persistence options, we can keep it to none. And the scheduling method will be round robin. The real check server method, we have only the DNS protocol, LDAP and none. So we will gonna keep it to ICMP. And here we can add our servers. Since we already defined the, the IP addresses in the first part of the video, we will just put it here to the real server address. The port uh, that we will gonna use on the gray log will be 1514. So this is another redirect for the port. And this is all, the configuration is done. Ah, actually I used uh, by mistake also the first Greylock server, which we said that we were not gonna use. So let me delete this one. And we have the other two Greylock servers. And this is all, our configuration is complete. Let's check it um, in Greylock to see if we are receiving the logs that we should receive from the firewall. In gray log we can go to search. We can select it as the last five minutes and we can see here uh, some syslog messages from the device. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in um, more videos about um, this free load balancer, please let me know uh, down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and talk to you in the next one.